Hello, hello, Reflective. Hello. I hope you're doing well, my collective. Happy Sunday to you all, my collective and people who's viewing me for the first time. My name's Pam. This is Pam Star Oracle. Nice to meet you. Um, I've just been up doing a lot of housework, y'all. I don't want to really show my face, okay? I don't feel really uh, like showing it today, okay? Spirit, let spirit come through for us. Very good. I pulled out a good story for you all. They all flipped out, so I laid it how it was. Uh, and uh, I hope y'all like how I did this. If you like how I did it, um, you could please uh, hit a like in my collective. And if you're new to my channel... You could please hit subscribe and hit all, and you'll be notified every time I upload. Okay, because I think you're all going to like how I did this. Um, it's saying somebody needs to accept the opportunity that is offered to you. Somebody's going to offer you an opportunity. It looks like a man coming. He's standing in the doorway, uh, wanting you to accept his offer, uh, and it's and spirit saying to embrace the three worlds so i guess you're paying attention to the physical the spiritual and the ethereal realms of uh, the worlds you know the past present future worlds uh you're you're embracing this opportunity i believe it's an opportunity for uh becoming the master you seek so the opportunity has come um you're embracing this change. Uh, you're, you're accepting um, to be a master. You're accepting this opportunity. That's what I get of that up there. I love them cards, how they look cool. Do y'all love them? If you love them, hit like. Ding. Maybe he's supposed to be your king. Ooh. I don't know, you guys. So here's what I pulled out. I pulled out Issa. Here's the ruins. And this is a... Im immobility isa or ice it equals i this is about cosmic interference coherence it says ruining on running on ice no progress this ruin symbolizes ice and you may find yourself on a slippery pipe so stop struggling to make progress for it is futile waiting for the thaw to come before moving on so you're waiting uh you're waiting this out during the winter months this uh this was cosmic interference uh so like the divine interfered and told you to be still they wanted you to be immobile are you listening and uh let me finish reading this line and then i'm gonna pick all this up and read it without you understand okay so here's northeast nathawas and I drew it wrong, so I redone it. But it's this is a uh, Nothese. It could also stand for need or Nothese or necessity. This is about the necessity. This is inner need, pain, a dangerous path. That's why, that's why spirit stopped it and didn't want you to go towards it because it was a dangerous path. And we all have a mixture of good and bad strengths and weaknesses, light and shadow. If we fail to recognize this, we will not feed the needs of our whole soul, and we will not flourish. Nid reminds us, or Nathalas, reminds us to take care of our whole being, and that not doing so may hold us back. So... The divine, this was causing interference from the divine. They told you to stop and set your eyes still. See, stop, set your eyes still. That looks like a cross here. This and that, otherwise. Uh, you know, because uh, spirit was trying, they interfered because this was a dangerous path. And you was needed to heal that inner need of seeking after another person to help you through this cleaning up your insides like you you was searching for somebody like 
Like you, it was necessary that you had to have them. And the spirit said, no, it wasn't. Uh, I'm telling you, it was a bad pipe that you was on. And I'm glad that you listened to me and stopped it. Oh, spirit loves you and I love you. Hit like and hit subscribe. And Thuraz, Thuraz, this is Thor. I know this is Thor right here, see? And it looks like a P right there, but this is a journey or a transition that you had to go through. And it's Thuraz, Thor. This was protection from the divine. Uh, this is polarity. You learning um, your masculine and feminine side. You're getting re re regeneration. And it says, look before you leap. Do not rush and grab every change without taking the time to contemplate the ramifications. Yeah, that's true. If you can be cautious, then you will pass through the transition with more strength and energy. So, Spirit's glad that you was cautious uh, and uh, they appreciate you because you're going through this transition with more strength and energy because uh you decided to slow down, you know, uh, and be aware that this was a transition that you need to go through and nobody need to be on it with you. It's only you, you understand? All right, so uh, what else does it say? And then we have Ansus, Ansuaz, Ansus, or Ansus, or Ansur, Odin. God, ancestors, a signal or a message. Answer is strongly associated with Ansu, Ansu, Ansu's is strongly associated with Loki, the mischievous God. So we are warned not to dismiss any message, even if it comes from someone we would not trust or from an unexpected source. So, I mean, you're getting a lot of messages and signals from the gods and your ancestors and Odin that you're getting a lot of signs that this had to do with your individual freedom. You're your as that's why your as came out. And this is about your as power, like your primal instincts. See that boy? This is about your primal instincts. This creative force, this gateway. I made it to where it looked 3D like, see the bull is going through the gateway. See how it bulls doing that? He's going through the gateway. Oh, I love you, spirit. There's no pain, no gain. To get fit, you have to work for it. Your reminds us that perhaps we should put more effort into achieving what we desire and that sometimes there is dark before we see the light. Boy, ain't that true. You know, that's what you had to understand, yeah. Uh, that you you have to face that dark before you can be living in a light, you know. So there's getting ready to be a portal gateway opening. Uh, and that's the 1010 portal. And I think that's tomorrow, Monday, I'm pretty sure. Not unless it's today, Sunday. I don't think it is, though. But tomorrow, that there's a portal, and a gateway to portal. And Canals. And whatever it tells you in this message that I'm giving, you need to let go of whatever it is tomorrow or go towards it. But right now it's saying don't. It, it, you're, you're right where you need to be. And, and then can also come out. You know, this is fire energy. This is light and inspiration and leadership. Uh, this is fire knowledge. Hindsight is twenty twenty. given to look back and see things more clearly. We can all focus on what matters on our strength and destiny, we can also push trivial matters into the background and allow ourselves to move forward. So, I mean, it's telling somebody to move forward right now. You know, uh, so, let me see if this spells anything. Let me get these so I can tell you what spirit spelled with all those ruins right then in English, so we'll know what spirit was, is trying to warn us also by these ruins. My idea, my idea is to uh, read these ruins and spell what it was saying. My idea, Pamela, Pamela G. Ilium over here, Pamela G. Ilium. Oh, Pamela Gail Gilliam. <laughs> oh, so we got C. 
CKU suck, 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 suck. We don't got an AS though. Okay, so we got. Either. I didn't put what this one equals right here. I don't know if that means in or not. I want to use it as an in, but I need to fix this card because I, 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 didn't, I didn't write it. I love you, spirit. I love you. Wait till y'all see how much spirit loves me in my collective to show you what it said. Do y'all love me? Hang on, let me equal in because I'm pretty sure that's what equals it. Hang on, before I write it, let me see. I can't get to my book that I had. I'm going to make sure there ain't an N in here and then I don't know what it is. That's what it is, okay? Cause I'm pretty sure it is. Yep, it's an end. That's what it is. I love you, Spirit. I can't wait to see what it just freaking said. It's a fucking amazing. I love you, Spirit and God. I love you for showing these people how much you love me. And I always flipped out. I always flipped out because this is my new way of doing I'm going to give us a message every day of what, this, of what these uh, our old ancestors that use these ruins tells us. Shit. Hang on, I gotta write that on it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it says like this. T-H see it equals T-H A. So T-H A N K. You know, this K and all is equal C, Q, and K. So, you know, I'm using it as K. So, it says think. Wait till you see what it's spelled out all. Spirit says, I I thank you. I love spirit. I didn't know it till just now, you all, because I told you I'd spell it when it spelled something. I'd spell something. So, it's telling it. It said to me and you, my collective and people it's new, it says, I thank you for listening to me. First, I thank you for staying immobile during this uh, transition. I thank you for staying immobile during this transition. I I, I, God, Odin, your ancestors gave you a lot of signals and messages that this was a dangerous path and you showed great leadership and individual freedom. And I love you hey, that you didn't go down it. And I love you guys. And if you love me, I love you. I would be telling you what you love them ruins and you can call me and let me know because I love y'all and I'm helping you. And I thank you all. <laughs> I thank my collective very much. And that about made me cry. I thank you, Spirit. So what Issa wanted to say was this. It wanted to say Capricorn Ascendant. So you may have a Capricorn Ascendant sign. But you could just have these qualities. Hang on. This is the sea goat feminine. This is about your very dependable, dignified, idealistic, humorous, industrious, modest, patient, and disciplined. That's why spirit loves you. Did you hear me? That's why spirit loves you because you're all that right there. And your son's son could be a Pisces. That's my mom. I love my mama. And, you know, Pisces, this is water and Neptune. And it's the 12th house. This is a mutable sign. That Capricorn is cardinal. And it's the 10th house, I meant to say. And, it, and it's ruled by Saturn. Uh, and the element is Earth. And, and anyway, so you, you might be a Pisces sun sign. And you have a Capricorn ascendant. This is more feminine energy. Uh, you're very mystical, and you, you don't have to be this sign. This is just for whoever's listening to the story. I love y'all, and this is qualities that we all share. 
man or women, uh, this you're very mystical and emotional and sensitive and spiritual. You're adaptable to many situations. You use your intuitive mind and you're very kind and imaginative, okay? Uh, you're all about compassion and uh, signs. Watch out for signs leading you to true love. Even if it isn't about love, just watch for signs. The divine gives you signs all the time, you all. Uh, pay attention to the signs, mother, wife, sister, daughter, lady Nada. Uh, it says, uh, because uh, you're someone that knows how to respect your boundaries that you set. Okay, so that's good. Don't let nobody cross your boundaries that you set. Boundaries pulled out right beside that, too. And it said, because uh, you respected your boundaries and paid attention to the sign and remained compassionate. It says, victory's mine's. It's, victory is mine. It's not an illusion. My willpower makes winning a foregone conclusion. A chariot. So, I mean, uh, spirit loves that you was courageous enough to leave this certain situation alone, you know, and pay attention to yourself. This was about your willpower and drive and determination. You're a hero. You're you're going to be victorious. You're a damn warrior. Uh, you're you're going to have success through your personal effort. Get all the effort you put in, you'll win. This is a control of opposing forces within and without. This is about mind over matter. Singleness of of purpose, uh, taking a physical journey, realizing who you are out here in the world, okay? You know, you're realizing who you are, and you're going to uh, charge through, okay? You're winning. Oh, and feeling like something needs to be balanced. The signs might have been making you feel like something needed balanced, but it didn't. It didn't, because it done set up our, I thank you for listening to me. I love spirit. I love you, God. And, and you've come too far to give up now. See, push through. You're, that's what you're doing. That's why the horse has come out. You're pushing through. And uh, what you what y'all y'all wanted to suck me dry until I'm dead? You can't kill off my spirit. See, you kept pushing through. The, these people uh, wanted you dead. They might have wanted you dead actually, but they can't kill off your spirit. Do you understand? Even if your body dies, your spirit didn't die. They're dumb, you know. Energy don't just d d go away, you know what I'm saying? It lingers. Oh, and now these up here. Um, it's saying uh, you're very persistent. Scorpion moon, this is more feminine energy. This is, you know, water. It's a fixed sign. Uh, you're very persistent and imaginative, sensual. You, you're you observant. Uh, you're very dynamic and self-reliant and disciplined and spiritual, you know. And your memory and sense of judgment is keen. Sensual and magnetic qualities allow you to attract things you're passionate about, including people, careers, or hobbies. So... So, you being patient is attracting the right people around you. Are you listening? Because you didn't fall for that one person or situation that you was so caught up over, I guess. And you could have a Taurus ascendant. This is the bull, more feminine energy. This is determined, sensual, elegant, calming, organized, sincere, precise, creative element. Earth, Venus uh, is the planet it's from. This is a fixed so, uh, you're very, uh, spiritual, spiritual leader or person, uh, you're very self-reliant and disciplined and you need to get more organized and, uh, because I guess you are, you need to be precise with your, with something at the moment and, and be precise in your creative, uh, endeavors. Boundaries, having sensible boundaries is important. So maybe you placed your boundaries with with uh, this person. They could have a Taurus ascendant or a Scorpio moon, but they don't have to. They could just have them qualities. But you realize that you had to set boundaries, uh, and you had to trust these boundaries that you set with this said person or persons. And you're seeing the truth about this situation now. You're 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 seeing the truth about how. You had to uh, 
set boundaries uh, with maybe a, a, a Taurus or a Scorpio, okay? Uh, but it could have been a, a Taurus because here's more Empress energy, you know? And uh, it says, I feel the dark Empress in myself or my mother. So her eccentricities won't bound me forever. It says, over-emotionality, maternal excess, smothering behavior, martyrdom, infertility, experience difficulties in mothering or with a mother, uh, loss of creative ideas and the drive to produce, trying to be too many things to too many people, feeling unloved or unwanted, failure to love and nurture yourself. You're seeing the truth that you wasn't uh, you was feeling unloved and, and unwanted because you needed to nurture yourself. You had to see the truth that, you know, you, you're not going to have any creative ideas or drive if you don't see the, the real truth and trust that you had to set up this boundary with this Taurus or Scorpio. You had, you had to trust it. Okay. Cause you're a dark empress. You're, you're, you're in a dark energy right now, whoever this is. And, and change is always a good choice. Keep on thinking you're to blame and them is none to blame. Yeah, you're thinking the wrong way when you you have to. If you're in a partnership, it's equal give and take. And if, if the partnership is dying, it was equally you both shit on each other. It ain't just one. It's not a one-sided sum, all right? And I know it's because I've been in a partnership for many years. So, uh, and my old man knows that too. You know what I'm saying? So, Honey, you know more than you think you do. So, so whoever this is that thinks that they ain't ha they don't have no blame in, uh, you know, fucking with you or your spiritual path. Don't worry, a change is is all is good, and it's coming to that person who, whoever is, uh, not wanting to connect, the correct way. I guess let's put it that way. Oh, yeah, I'm theorize it. And then it's come out. Uh, Scorpio Ascendant. This is more feminine energy. Wow, it's all been freaking feminine, ain't it? And this is a uh, water element. It's a fixed sign. And uh, you're very passionate and zealous, clever, mysterious, observant, private, resilient, determined. Maybe it's saying Thor, the god Thor, has been, uh, <laughs> been observing you, uh, that you're a very private, and resilient, determined person. And uh, maybe this Aries is like Thor. He's going to bring his hammer down. You know, this is Mars, the first house. It's a cardinal sign. And very active, ambitious, energetic, optimistic, courageous, honest, driven, spontaneous. Uh, leadership, you know. Aries is leadership, independence, enterprise, and energetic action. You live in the present rather than the past or future. You're always ready for new and thrilling adventures. So, spirit loves you that you're living in the present. You don't live stuck in the past. That was the first masculine sign that come out, wasn't it? Yep. It surely was the first one. Yep. And uh, it, maybe this Aries has a Scorpio ascendant sign, and they are wanting to rekindle. Every relationship has magical moments that can be rekindled. Um, but remember what it said, I thank you earlier. It could be saying, this Aries is saying, I thank you for helping me see the magic inside of myself. It's okay, Aries. You, it, it, you're welcome. I, I'm glad I can help somebody. Oh, no, they're doing a spiritual law of attraction. Ooh. They're using the spiritual laws to attract you into their life, whoever this is. Heed the messengers. Pay attention to this messenger, what I'm telling you, and listen. Oh, that looks like that looks like me, like the ice queen. Remember ice come out, you're the ice queen, you know. Maybe you are, I'm an Aquarius and I I, I it's always icy around my birthday. <laughs> yeah, because I was born in a winter. Ooh. 
So, Ice Queen is telling you, pay attention to my message. Somebody wants to rekindle some with you. Oh, and the hanging one come out. So, spending in time, I surrender to non-action, a sacrifice I make to gain illumination. Uh, this was about immobility. And remember, that was on our, that was what come out with ice. This is about surrender, illumination, acceptance, sacrifice, relinquishing control, illumined perspective on life, values and priorities, changing, willing sacrifice for, for spiritual gain. Uh, so, I mean, you willingly sacrificed yourself, but you've gained a lot of spiritual wealth. That's what it's saying. And, uh, Maybe maybe uh, this Aries wants to rekindle something with you. They've been uh, doing all this magic to uh, attract you back to their life, and but but it says heed the messengers, heed the messages. Maybe they didn't even acknowledge your messages when you sent them. And Spirit saying, remember that, like they never paid you any mind when you sent messages to them. That's what I just said, and uh. So spirits glad that you you uh sacrificed that you accepted this uh, as it was that this got illuminated that you accepted that you wasn't with this person you're okay you know what I'm saying with it but the universe will not always show you what is yours you got to work for it a need to slow down your body needs attention for working hard. So it's telling you that you need to slow down. Your body needs attention for all this work that you've been doing hard. And you ain't saw a real love like this before. Ooh. So whoever this Aries is, they said, buddy, you ain't never saw how much I love you. And the universe just was hiding it. I, 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 I had to slow down my body. It needed attention. And, uh, I, I, and the universe was hiding me from me. That's what I said. <laughs> And as soon as it come out, planet Jupiter, ooh, the wise teacher. Ooh, you're a wise teacher, yeah. Remember, and that was God, Odin, God. Oh, I love that. You're an Aquarius, that's why. <laughs> so, Aquarius, masculine. You know, this is Uranus, the 11th house fixed. You're a free thinker, visionary. You're very unique and friendly. You're brilliant and creative and independent and charitable. Uh, your core representation as a chorus is visionary and humanitarian. You're intellectual, inventive, and require freedom to thrive. You're paradoxical. You're unique and creative, yet scientific and fabulous at research. So uh, maybe you're a Aquarius. You know, if you're an Aquarius sun sign, maybe uh, your Jupiter is in Aquarius also. Uh, I love you, Spirit. You always tell. Oh, yeah, and Jupiter, you're very fortunate and wise and expansive and philosophical and enlightened and worldly. See, you're supposed to be a worldly wise teacher. Uh, you know, this is Sagittarius energy. It is the planet of good fortune assisting you in making your hopes and wishes come true. So, you know, Jupiter is working for me right now. I'm an Aquarius. I know it is. It's working for me. And Spirit said, and God is working for you, and you are a God, and we love you. That's what it said. Oh, and telepathic, you, this close soul connections are harmoniously synchronized, creating moments of telepathy. So, I mean, this Aries, since it's right there beside us, they're wanting to rekindle a telepathic connection with you. And if it ain't Aries, it's somebody else. It's either, here's the signs out here. It's Capricorn. Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Aries, Sagittarius, Aquarius, another Scorpio, and then a Virgo, and another Sagittarius. That was all the signs that's out here. So one of those signs, you're all very telepathic, and you, you, you was uh, God and Odin warned you to clear and shield your energy from this. Did you hear that? They warned you to stop doing that. You had to embrace the feminine. Ooh, they did. They wanted your mind to be clear because you're supposed to birth something to reality. Oh, you star, that's who. It's you by Georgie. That's the damn hell who. And it says the starlight shining down on me brings healing from above. I am at peace with my life and filled with hope and love. That's me. See, that's, that's a chorus in the light side. 
this is about peace, hope, sanctuary, grace, inspiration, stardom, dare to wish upon a star, the calm after the storm, renewal of the life force within, holistic care of body and soul, shining light of understanding, release of the imagination. See, you release this imagine, you release this imagine, this imagine, imagination imaginative telepathic connection and spirit loves you and you're honoring your dreams now and they love you that you released all that and oh yeah because they was using you for your high energy and your loving qualities the spirit's thankful that you released this telepathic it could have been a third party situation too and spirit loves you all even if you're in aquarius they love you for doing that oh and people is falling in your track star aquarius I, I, mine actually come out star come out on star of course i love that spirit you're so funny oh and god and people's feeling fat and happy and grateful now oh, you love my little cat look oh, i love my little cat meow so people's falling in your tracks they they love you and and you know they're just feeling fat and happy and grateful or, or skinny what's it doesn't matter is this, is this a saying we're just feeling good <laughs> at what it means and you're all up our and I thank you. I want to thank you. I love how it said that. Do y'all love me as much as I love you all? And my, my teachings. And, and it about made me cry that I didn't pull it out. Spirit did. So I could show y'all it's spirit's real. And I'm going to use them ruins all the time. So to help y'all, I need to write on the back of them instead of using them cards. But the way it is, my my, it doesn't stick to this. That's why I had to do that, okay? Retrograde. Um, this is where challenges will arise in your life and, and illusions, you know. There'll be illusions placed to knock you off your path. Uh, this is about your possibilities and restrictions and uh, upheaval and reflection, okay? Uh, so... So you've been reflecting, uh, uh, so during this retrograde, you went through a rebirth and a transformation. That's why the eighth house come out. This is about your spiritual, uh, this is about your spiritual self. Uh, you're very mysterious and resilient. You're, this is about metaphysical, mystical, transformative. And it says the mysteries of spiritual and physical transformation. The characteristics of this house signify inheritances, legacies, deaths, and rebirths in your life. This house can be mystical and amplify psychic and metaphysical awareness. So, I mean, it symbolizes resiliencies after losses and gains, as well as growth and expansion in your spiritual life. The past signifies the way you emotionally respond to your experiences. Learn from them and change direction over the course of your lifetime. It always leads you towards your own destiny. So during this um, retrograde, uh, it's, it's leading you to your destiny. Uh, you're very mysterious at the moment. And spiritual, I mean, it said it. So you're mysterious and you're spiritual. And your spiritual journey is begun, beginning or it's already began and, and, and spirit's telling you apollo came out you need to focus upon your strengths at the moment you need to focus on your strengths because you, uh, uh, that's what you started doing and spirit loves you because you show that you care and you love them and, and you love people around and and uh spirit loves that you're helping others at the moment and uh the moon came out, and it says strange, dark, and mis and morbid describe how I'm feeling. Asking for help is the start to my healing. Uh, so this is someone that's in depression and over-emotional, uh, illusions, deception, distortion, paranoia. But uh, this person, the you're showing that you care to these people who is in depression and and uh they've been lied to and they lived in an illusion you know they lost touch with reality and you know i have too before also you know i'm not lying to y'all somebody's distortion distorting their truth though they got excessive feelings of fear and anxiety and dread uh you're showing that you care to all these p uh, spiritual people that's coming you know like to my channel, that's what I'm doing. Uh, you're understanding the metaphysical side and uh, 
you know that you you have to ask for help to heal. I mean, uh, so, so somebody might be like hiding something from you in the spiritual community. That's what it's saying right here. Uh, so something that's hiding is maybe you had a spiritual divorce, like. You know, like you you might be really married. You know, I'm really married, but you might have a spiritual partner, and and uh, that is toast. It looks like this spiritual connection. It, it's a divorce, or I mean, it could be a real divorce you're going through. Somebody's gonna get divorce papers during uh, when Scorpio is going retrograde. Did you hear me? And you don't carry all the weight alone. You've got help from angels, so don't worry. And they can't give you what you... They can't give you what what you let them have. So you're letting them have this divorce. And you're not going to carry none of this weight alone. you got the angels' help. So they're going to do something sh shitty to you. Some Somebody is doing something shitty to you. You're going to say, no, I'm fucking fed up. I want a fucking divorce. I'm done with this shit. That's what it's saying now, okay? Or y'all might have already did that. You can let me know in the comments if you want to. I love y'all. <coughs> and then when K and all is that firepower come out and planet Mercury, this is Virgo and Gemini. This is a, you know, you're using it. You're a great communi communicator. You use, you're very expressive and you use your logical and mind. You're, you, you're very educational to others. You're very observant and inquisitive and intellectual. <coughs> and uh, this is the ninth house come out. This is the house of philosophies. This is ruled by Sagittarius. This is about higher learning and knowledge and expansion and travel theory advancement. Uh, it could symbolize it, a long journey to a foreign land as well as expanded journeys of the mind. You're intellectually advanced and open to new realities, at least a greater understanding and awareness of the world around you from a higher perspective. So I just gain, uh, gained awareness that something's going to happen maybe during uh, Scorpio season. See? Enlightenment. Oh, wow. Well, with enlightenment, there's no separation. We recognize that we are one with divine. Oh, gosh. So, maybe you and this Aries. Any of, your, any of these signs out here, whoever, you're all going to rekindle something. You got enlightened that you're, you're all never going to be separated. You know, uh, this true, real love. You need to stay focused. Maybe your spiritual partner is saying, get the fucking divorce from your root so you can move the fuck on. Oh, you know what it said. And it said, uh, uh, nourish the soul. Uh, so, uh, drink more water. See how that uh, uh, lion is drinking water. You need to drink more water and stay focused. Because that helps bring spiritual enlightenment. And it does. And it says... To love and be loved is how it should be. I rejoice in the love that ha that now comes to me. Hey, lovers, Jim and I come out. This is a attraction, a choice, love, a union, soulmates, wholeness, love on all levels, from platonic to erotic. You're falling in love. You're forming a deep connection with another, the experience of ecstasy and bliss and a balanced, loving, committed relationship. So you got enlightened that, you know, you, you stayed focused and you didn't veer off your path. You're drinking more water and you realize you, you have a divine true love. And love is being rewarded to you from the divine. I love spirit. It's sitting over here. It's coming now to you. Huh. And from the divine. Look at all the activities that we can do. Shit. <laughs> oh, God. I got this for step brothers. Look at all the activities that we can do. You're going to live somewhere. It's got a lot of room. That's what it's saying. And my eyes are only on you, baby. They fucking love you. They want you. They only want you. And last thing, last thing I'm doing, my throat's hurting. Uh, mercury come out. And, uh, 
You know, Mercury represents expression and communication. It rules how we communicate, whether through in-person conversations, text, emails, or phone calls. Known for being analytical and curious. Uh, this can help us better understand our own thoughts so that we can gain clarity in all situations and relationships. Mercury is also known as the trickster, especially when in retrograde. So, somebody was tricking you during uh, Mercury retrograde. Are you listening? Somebody was tricking you. And Juno came out in Roman mythology. Juno is the devoted wife of Jupiter, Zeus in Greek mythology, and queen of the universe. In astrology, this asteroid represents intimate relationships, marriage, commitment, and partnership, along with all the complexities that come with interpersonal relationships, including jealousy and infidelity. Look to Juno in your chart to see which zodiac sign it's transiting for clues on whom you should be with and the attributes you might look for in a strong relationship. So what I think it's saying is right now where all these planets is going in retrograde, it doesn't have to just be Mercury. It's saying all these fucking planets because right here it was saying whenever Scorpio goes retrograde. So whenever Scorpio goes retrograde because Mercury ain't in retrograde anymore, uh, I heard uh, somebody I listened to the other day say, so when that... When it, this and goes retrograde, like I just said, at Scorpio. Who is the real world Scorpio? Hang on, I can't remember. I don't know who. I guess it's... I don't know who the planet of Scorpio. I guess it... Planet Scorpio. I don't I don't know you all. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't I don't know what the answer I was looking for. But anyway, what it's saying is um remember it said divorce. So when it could be a Virgo that somebody's gotta get divorced from because Mercury come out. Uh but it also could be saying that you gain clarity in all this situation and this relationship with that one person and you realize that you are a devoted wife and you might have a devoted husband. It just depends. It just depends because you all know how it goes out here in the spiritual uh, energy shifts. So, if it relates to somebody out here, you can let me know. And I love y'all. And I'm going to get off here. My throat's hurting. And I hope y'all have a wonderful day. And pa-pa-pa-pieces, babes. I love you guys. Hit subscribe.